In this video, we're going to talk about Kern loops, solenoids, and the North-South Convention. Okay, so in this first picture over here, we see a current loop. The current's going this way. And if you right-hand rule it at this point here and this point here, you'll see that it'll make concentric circles like this. And at this point, the current's going away from us, so you point your thumb away from you. And you'll see that the current, or I'm sorry, that the magnetic fields will be going clockwise. And so you see here the magnetic field lines produced show that clockwise direction, getting weaker as it goes out. Here, on the left side, we'll see that the current's coming towards us. So point your thumb towards you, and you'll see that the direction of the magnetic field will be counterclockwise on this side, here and here and here. And interestingly, you can see that in the middle, they kind of add up, right, and the magnetic the, the direction of the field is up and up coming from both sides so it becomes very up here and just like electric fields can add to make net electric fields magnetic fields can add to make net magnetic fields right but we only looked at two points on this current loop and just so you know in three dimensions it would look more like this right that along every point there's a magnetic field produced and that at every point again if you to kind of take your right your right hand rule and you walk your thumb around in a circle you'll see that your, the curl of your fingers is always curling in the same direction right up is always up so you, the curl of your fingers will always be on this side and now for the north-south convention we call um, this side north and this side south and the convention is just that the direction of the magnetic field is going so that the direction the arrows are going are pointing to the north and where they're coming from is the south so likewise in this current loop this would be the north end and then the south end would be down here and that's because the arrows are always going to be pointing up as you come through here and again just walk your hand around and see that they're always going to be curling up here's a different picture of a current loop um, it's now just kind of worth looking at it from the side. And again, if you kind of do the right hand rule, you can see that this is the same picture. And this side will be north this time, and this side will be south. And now over here we have three current loops next to each other. Okay? And you'll see that the magnetic field adds, like how we were saying before on this inside, right, in the inside of the current loops, the magnetic field is going to be in the same direction for all three. And what happens is it, it's like taking one of these and making three of them, so it becomes really strong in the middle here, because they're all going in the same direction. Now on the outside, um, they won't really add up as much, right? But here in the middle, it's very strong. And to extend that, um, we can make a solenoid, which is basically a um, a wire that's coiled around a bunch of times and that's visualized both here and here so in this one you can actually see here's the wire um, curling around again trying to look three-dimensional and as you do that you're basically making one of these it's, it's as though you're making a bunch of current loops and sticking them next to each other and what happens is the magnetic fields on the inside of the loops all add up because they're all going in the same direction. They're all pointing in the same direction so they, so they get really strong. And in this picture, this happens to be north and this happens to be south. And you'll see that they don't add kind of on these specific points out here, but they all kind of add in this middle section. This picture is just showing that in a different way. And here is north and here is south. And it's all the magnetic fields inside adding up. And I just want to show you another way to visualize this. Let's see. Okay. So here, um, we have a solenoid. Let me do this. Right? And this is just showing you three dimensionally. Here are the magnetic field lines being produced by the solenoid. In the center, they're very strong because they're all being added up inside. And on the outside, they're weaker. You can also see that through this it's a picture with the light parts being strongest and this part with the red parts being strongest and blue being weakest 